What is going on, guys, and welcome back to Touchdowns to Home Runs. My name is Bernie. Thank you for joining us today on the Touchdowns to Home Runs show. Hope that your day is going absolutely fantastic. Today, we're going to be doing something really different on the channel. We're going to be doing our first ever box break today. As you can see, we're going to be opening the 2020 Leaf Draft box. Three autograph cards per box, so pretty good odds. I'm interested to see what we will be getting. As you can see, top baseball prospects in here. We got 50 cards in total and Wander Franco is the cover guy. There's a few good prospects in here, so hopefully we can pull at least one good auto out of the three. Um, I don't see any odds on the box here, so potentially on the packs, on the actual packs themselves. So anyways, let's get this box open. Haven't opened a box in a while. I think I've opened one Bowman box in the past little while. Um, this box actually wasn't too expensive. Um, so if you guys do like seeing box breaks on the channel, definitely make sure to let me know down in the comment section below um, because I'm definitely somebody who loves doing box breaks. I know a lot of people like watching these as well. Um, and these are definitely fun videos for me to make. Um, so yeah, so the cards actually come in the 50 card set and then the three autographs are actually in here right now they come actually separately in the box so we're going to open the card set first and then we'll take a look at the three autos that we do get now i have seen the cards before um these are what they look like they're not awful in terms of their design um they're pretty basic but i mean for the Amount that I spent on this box, I mean, can't expect too much. We open with a Tatis. Again, a lot of some of the uh, better prospects in the past couple of years, they aren't only ones from this year. Acuna, Wander Franco, hopefully we get his autograph today. That would be very good. Mauricio, another good prospect. Luciano, Noel V. Marte. This was, um, a lot of people don't know of this guy. He's one of the best prospects in the Mariners system. Dylan Carlson, Julio Rodriguez, Garcia, Jason Dominguez, best prospect in the Yankees system, Bryce Ball, Burns, Garrett Mitchell, I think that's Haley Cruz's boyfriend, if anybody watches TikTok, Bryce Jarvis, we'll go through these ones a little bit quicker, Spencer Torkelson, first pick in the draft of this past year, overall again, I just think that the look of the cards are a little... Aurelvis Martinez, Blue Jays, one of their top prospects. I just think that the look of the cards overall are a little basic. But again, for the value, the value of the box, Max Meyer, I think he went six, was it? All right, second half of the base. Asa Lacey, I think he went fourth. Austin Martin, there we go, the Blue Jays draft pick from this past year. It's nice because it seems like... Um, there's a smaller checklist, Hancock, Nick Gonzalez, um, Robert Hassel, all guys who, even Zach Veen, he went early on in the draft. So it seems like we're getting all of the, you know, guys who you would want to pull in terms of the base cards um, from people who were drafted in this past year. Mick Abel, Ed Howard, Nick York, Carson Tucker, because I'm trying to think about who were the other good guys. I think we pulled everybody but the guy that the Orioles picked, unless I missed somebody. Peraza. So that finishes off our um, 50 card checklist again. Um, we got some pretty good ones. I'm going to go through them after and separate um, the guys based on who got drafted where. But again, 50 card set, and now... In here, we have our three autographs. They actually come in top loaders, um, which is pretty interesting, actually. Um, it's a pretty interesting way to do it. I've never seen another set do this that I've opened. Um, but it's a good way to protect the autographs, because obviously, um, if you pull somebody good, you want to get them graded. Nick Frasso, first one. Seems like a basic auto. Now, these look like... Um, sticker autos, which is a bit unfortunate, but it is a rookie, obviously a draft. Um, let's try not to look at this one and look at the back of the card. Yeah, pretty nice looking card again. Great condition, I think. I really like how this set does this in terms of keeping it in top loaders. Again, unfortunate that it is a um, sticker auto. Next up, Nick Swiney. 
Here's the back of the card if you want to look at it there. And last but not least, looks like we did get some sort of different look here. Baron Laura. Not numbered, but it does look different. All right, so back to the video um, now. I just quickly checked um, all of these guys up on eBay um, just to sort of see if I had any sort of value right now. Um, but most of the times when you buy these um, boxes, especially in terms of baseball, you're looking more for, you know, if you're not getting the highest value guys, are you getting guys who potentially in the future, you know, a couple years down the line, can you look back at them? Are they going to break into the majors? Because prospects are really hit and miss a lot of people who open like bowman chrome bowman prospect boxes will definitely know that um but the first guy nick frasso um this isn't an awful card in terms of value this guy he actually is in the on the toronto blue jays um which is why i have heard the name before um it's a pretty nice auto value wise it, it's not the greatest it's not awful um i think with the three autos i will make my money back on the box um but i'll probably hold on to the cards just to see if they do improve um, in terms of Nick Swiney, um, value about the same as Nick Frasso, um, not the greatest, but again, will help me make my money back on the box. And then Bayron Laura does seem to be my best um, pull on the Texas Rangers. I think it is. This is about a $15 card as is right now, but again, prospects. A lot of time for these guys to improve. Hopefully they do. Hopefully I do get my money back. Um, just before we end the video, overall review of the box. Um, I've opened Leaf before, never baseball, have opened NFL boxes. Um, I like Leaf as a brand. I really like their metal boxes more. Um, if I can find a good one, I'll put a picture on the screen now. Um, but overall, you know, like these cards in comparison to the Leaf are really basic. But I do think Leaf makes good prospects. And they're essentially the only one that makes cards of players before they do make the majors. So, you know, if you're into, you know, college football as well as um, college, I don't know if they do college basketball, but if you watch um, high school, college baseball, and you want to pull some of those guys, the quickest um, Leaf brand overall, Leaf Draft, Metal Leaf Draft, Definitely some cards to make sure that you check out. Um, but anyways, guys, that's going to be all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you do want to see me break another box, I mean, within reason in terms of price, um, drop down the box that you want to see me break down in the comment section below, and I'll try my best to um, pick up one of those and see if I can break one of those on the channel. Um, but anyways, guys, if you did enjoy today's video, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to Touchdowns to Home Runs for more content just like this. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.